Can you youngsters be a little more low-key? I remember your faces. You were there when we were putting out the fires. You're back here to investigate what happened, right? I may be old and forgetful, but I assure you that the people you're describing don't live in Northville. Come to think of it, I think Hank saw some outsiders around in the wheat fields that evening. But I'm not sure if those are the people you're looking for. Hank is the only fisherman around these parts. He's got no interest in farming, so he spends his days fishing. If you want to talk to him, keep heading north along the river, and you'll find him up at the lake. Oh, poor Hank's been really worried lately, ever since this cold weather froze the lake over. I don't know the details. You'll have to ask Hank. my moves. Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved.
Inventory, shipment, deliveries. You desire an audience. And what? The general has. Inventory, shipment. Hey, you alright? The general has asked me to protect you. Not. Phew. Experience. Honed on the. Experience. Honed on the battlefield. You desire and being a noble is always being on top. The medicine's more potent, so the price needs to match. Inventory? Every coin was wisely spent. Inventory, shipment, the accumulates and develops just like I had a feeling you would be here The general has asked me to protect you.
Understood. I'll keep them quiet. Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Come out, my son, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Come out, my son, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved.
Come out, my son, and fight for me! Come out, my son, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved.
Well, victory is deserved. your bread in my life the taste the texture the aroma everything about it is perfect not even magic could make something this delicious <laughs> take as much as you'd like my name is Truma and I'm the chief of Ryham consider this a welcome my travel weary friend we're very grateful for the bread, Chief Truman. I can only imagine the complexity of the recipe required to make something this amazing. If you don't mind, could you share the exact formula with me? I need the flour to water ratio, proper kneading techniques, and the exact baking time. You're getting ahead of yourself, young lady. This bread doesn't need a special recipe. The special taste comes from the wheat itself. Many years ago, the legendary mage Merlin saved Ryham from the clutches of Hypophenes. A powerful spell was cast, and the weather became as warm as autumn all year round. But I don't sense 
sense any trace of magic in the bread at all. <laughs> That's because there are none in there. All Magister Merlin did was extend the comfortable season of autumn in these parts. These loaves of bread are the results of the hard work of our farmer and the gratitude we have for the great Merlin. But those things wouldn't affect the taste. I understand this. Where I come from, nature responds to the hearts of the people. The breeze we hear when we greet and embrace our loved ones is different from the breeze we hear when we say goodbye. Ha! I don't understand what you're saying, young man. But I still remember the words Merlin said to me that day. He loved the sight of the autumn wind blowing through the waves of grain. He hoped it would never fade. That's my role model. Words of poetry to my ears. Really? Before Lord Franz did away with South Hill's wheat fields, this golden land was even bigger. If you'd seen it, you would know why Merlin loved the beautiful countryside around here. <laughs> A pity Lord Franz replaced South Hill's wheat crop with grapes. With how long I have left, I wonder if I'll ever see those golden fields again. Hmm. Now that you mention it... Oh, come on. Don't forget what we came here for. We have to keep searching for who's behind the fire at Northville. Let's go. Please let me join the investigation. These loaves of bread are the embodiment of Magister Merlin's compassion and the hard work and gratitude of the village. I won't forgive anyone who tries to destroy that. Please let me do something to help the place that Magister Merlin once protected. Why do people keep looking for me? Before the fire, I have no idea what you're talking about. If you're here to interrogate me, just save your breath. Lord Franz didn't send you? Then that's all the more reason for me not to say anything. Since I've already been paid, don't expect me to say anything. Huh, I probably shouldn't have said that. I'll split a portion of my take if you promise not to tell Lord Franz. Instead of pestering me here, why don't you go look around where the fire happened? If you find something, Lord Franz might even reward you. What happened? Who's that? You were talking to him for a long time. A fisherman. He knows something, but he doesn't want to talk. Oh no. At this rate, the evidence may be covered in snow before we find anything. Weren't you investigating the strange weather in Ryham? Any progress? Do you think he knew you were investigating and is purposefully interfering? If so, someone else may have discovered your true identity. Along with the fire, it's possible that the falling snow was also part of their plan. What are you whispering about? Hey, keep those bunny ears out of our conversation. We don't have much time. Oh, I was about to tell you all something, but after Lorson's interruption, I've completely forgotten what it was. I'm terribly sorry. You see, before you all arrived, I conducted an experiment here. And the results were completely beyond my expectations. In my experiment, I discovered that Merlin's wart is gradually weakening. Weakening? Yes. Not only that, I discovered that another maid attempted to restore the wart, but could not stop it from weakening. 
How could this be? Sir Chippy? As a member of the Lyceum, I would never report something unless I was sure. But how is that possible? No one's ever been able to dispel Merlin's magic. As an ardent student of magic and all of Merlin's works, I am also in total disbelief. However, I can assure you that I am telling the truth. Brazen hot magic. I wonder... I was thinking the same thing. I'm no mind reader. Some things can be reasoned out. Also, after spending this much time together, I can guess what you're thinking. Tell us, Phelan. Who do you think tried to restore Merlin's ward? Muriel, the Scarlet Sorceress. After being accused of starting the fire, she refused to explain why she was there. There must be something stopping her from telling us. If she was trying to repair the ward, she probably didn't want everyone to know that it was weakening. Hmm. I have no idea what any of you are talking about. Chippy doesn't know either. Strange weather, the fire, the grapes, and now someone is trying to fix Merlin's ward. Oh no! Chippy's brain hurts. Chippy can't figure this out. Right now, we're still missing that last piece of evidence. I have a feeling that everything will fall into place once we find the real culprit behind the fire. Then what are we still waiting for? Let's hurry over to the scene of the fire and investigate. for sale. Buy four, get one free. Come out, my son, and fight for me. Well, victory is deserved. Lord Franz is in cahoots with bandits and standing in our way to the truth. It looks like our hard work is starting to pay off. We're all thinking the same thing, right? This fire had nothing to do with magic or with any mage. Although fire elementals did appear, it was after the fire started. The fire may have attracted them. Someone else sparked the fire before they showed up. The real culprits were those people we saw in Southville before. Lord Francis' henchmen. Disguised as locals, 
they infiltrated the village and set fire to the wheat. The villagers already had a poor harvest due to the cold weather. If Lord Franz burned that wheat, then what are the villagers supposed to sell? That's their only source of income. I can't believe he would resort to such underhanded means just to force Northville to plant his grapes. While everything is pointing to Lord Franz right now, I think it's still too early to confront him. What we need to do is learn more about those weird grapes. I've made a preliminary analysis regarding this, if everyone will listen. The magic that surrounds Northville is as clear and pure as spring water, while the magic in Southville, on the other hand, is as thick and muddy as a swamp. The biggest difference between the two is their crops. I suspect that those grapes are responsible for polluting the magic in that area. To test my hypothesis, I'd like to return to Southville to gather some samples. How are you going to do that when Lord Franz is guarding those grapes so closely? Unless... Miss Cassidy, don't tell me you plan on stealing some. It's not stealing if it's for research purposes. Besides, I'm only doing this to get closer to the truth. I only need a single tiny grape. No one will ever know it's missing. Then I'll take my leave. May Dura protect you. Sorry to interrupt everyone, but I must be going. Muriel is still being held captive by General Hogan. I need to return to Hollistone and clear her of any wrongdoing. But more importantly, I need to apologize to her in person. Lord Franz was the real culprit all along. And I am partly to blame for all of the suffering she has endured. General Hogan will want to know more about what's happening here. I need to make a trip back to Hollistone as well. Lord Franz will never admit to starting the fire. He holds a lot of power around here. Getting him to confess is something that needs to be discussed with the General. Thanks for the hard work. I'll treat you to whatever you want back in Hollistone. And don't worry, it'll be on the General's dime. You look tired, friend. I know you've been working hard. Tell me, have you made any new discoveries? So Lord Franz was behind the fire. From behind the scenes, he's been using his wealth to make his puppets do his bidding. That's exactly what I was afraid of. Unfortunately, there's not enough evidence to charge Lord Franz. Even if we bring witnesses to testify against him, all he has to do is feign ignorance and render our accusations meaningless. We need more conclusive proof, something that even he won't be able to deny. Before that, let me bring Miss Muriel here first. Now that we know she's not the culprit, she shouldn't be locked up. She got blamed for this. She deserves to know the truth. This is quite the crowd. Um, I know you don't want to see me right now, Miss Muriel, but I would like to apologize for unjustly accusing you earlier. You see, all of this is... It's fine. No apologies needed. If anything, I should thank you. If it wasn't for you, he wouldn't be running around for my sake. Isn't that right? <laughs> I knew it. I know you have questions, but let's meet elsewhere to talk. The gardens to the northwest, maybe. 
my favorite flowers grow there. And do remember to come alone. Just the two of us. Think of it like a date. Did she just say date? Yummy. What's a date? What? Don't ask something silly like that, Chippy. Ahem. <clears throat> we should return to the heroic order, Valen. You had something important to report, didn't you? Hmm? Not really. Hey, General! Why are you dragging me away? Wow, it seems like something interesting is happening. Don't worry, I'll keep my ears nice and shut. I swear to Miss Arte that I won't eavesdrop. Shield for the light base. Optimal training.
Oh. Wow, a promotion! Without the salary increase. You came. You look like you have hundreds of questions to ask me. Just ask. I'm in a good mood. You might even get some answers this time. The ward. So even you're saying it's a ward. It seems you've completely forgotten about the past. From what I understand, this is no mere ward. I once promised a person long ago that no matter who asked, I would never divulge the truth about this. It's something very important. I can say no more. All I can say is that someone is interfering with it. Sadly, I tried, but I couldn't stop it. I'm not sure. The culprits covered their tracks, and I couldn't find any clues. I can't answer that right now. You've asked enough questions. Now, it's my turn. What do you think about the location of our date? Well, I'm rather fond of this spot. See these blue flowers? Someone once told me that I'm just like them. You guess. If you're right, I'll give you a prize. Hmm, I wonder. Don't look at me like that. I never said I would tell you if you were right or wrong. You'll know if you guessed right next time we meet. And trust me, there will be a next time. Sometime soon, I'm sure. In any case, my lady is tending to important business. You may take your leave now, Lord Franz. Uh, wait, wait! Uh, tell me what you want. I'll give you anything. Just let me see Lady Vala. Please excuse me. I have to leave to attend some other matters. Huh. Damn that woman. There are some things money can't buy. It seems you're still having trouble understanding that, Lord Franz. You lot again. Such an unseemly group of people. Like diseased rats spreading their plague everywhere they go. It seems like you're the one being treated like a pest. She wouldn't even see you. Silence, you vermin. Guards! Scum like you have no business roaming around these civilized streets. My men will teach you not to leave whatever hole you came from. Present. Your command. Well, victory is deserved. Lady Vala. It's been quite difficult to get a meeting with you, my lady. Oh, you've got some nerve, Lord Franz. 
Is this how you respond when someone has no time to meet with you? By picking quarrels at their doorstep. You misunderstand, my lady. These miscreants were the ones who started the fight, not I. My noble lady, your eyes are as clear and brilliant as the stars in the night sky. Surely you can see through the lies this man is telling you. I care little for your petty squabbles. If you wish to continue this farce, I demand that you do it elsewhere. If even one of my flowers gets stepped on, you will all suffer my wrath. Please don't be upset, my lady. It breaks my heart to see a frown on a face as beautiful and flawless as yours. I beg your pardon, sir. While you do not wear the armor of the heroic order, am I right to presume that you are a member of the Solitaries? Why is someone like you getting involved in petty disputes such as this? What do you mean, my lady? Spying, secrets, gossip mongering. The solitaries are known to be masters of deception. The heroic order are the swords and shields of the nobility. How can one be unaware of those who serve them? Then it is I who have taken the liberty. <laughs> there. Now you sound much more like a solitary. Magister, even though that lady was talking to Valen, why does it feel like she's been staring at you all this time? I totally agree! Oh, she finally looked away. Her stare is so sharp, like a dagger. Chippy's heart almost jumped out of his chest. Now then, Lord France, what could be so urgent that you would disturb me like this? My lady. I merely wish to extend an invitation to the Golden Banquet. This year's harvest of the gem vine was quite good. I will host a banquet in celebration. I would like to invite you to come. I see. Now, if that is all, I'd like to go get some rest. I wish you all a pleasant day and safe travels. Have you been following me? Why do you ask? Does the idea frighten you? There are only two kinds of people who receive this kind of special treatment from the heroic order. The first are important figures like him over here. The second are greedy, no good criminals like you. Ha ha ha! You claim this man is a person of import. With neither wealth nor title, what makes him any different from the rest of the common rabble? Summoning a couple of talking hairballs? All mages are mad. Every last one of you. You seem to have some experience with mages, Lord Franz. Did you hear that a mage summoned fire elementals in Ryham on the night of the fire? Huh. Insinuate all you want. It'll give you a chance to use that crusty brain of yours. Don't overestimate yourselves. Making an enemy out of me is the worst thing you can do. That man's arrogance knows no bounds. He's been exposed, and yet he acts like nothing has happened. What's this golden banquet that he mentioned just now? He's throwing a feast, just to celebrate the harvest. Didn't hear about that. Lord Francis Manor is like a fortress. And he's never been one to have guests. So why would he suddenly want to throw a banquet now? My thoughts exactly. Something doesn't add up. If we attend the banquet, we might find some new clues. Did you see that gold invitation he gave to the lady? Where can we get ourselves one? I think I may know someone who can do that for us. Yes. That young man could be our ticket in. We should go see him at the Mithril Consortium.
Have you finished speaking to Miss Muriel? I truly hope she can find it in her heart to forgive me. Wonderful! We have a saying in our family. On the road, everyone is a customer. The Mithril Consortium cannot afford to lose such a customer because of my personal feelings. You only talk in business terms, don't you? Anyway, did you happen to receive a gold invitation from Lord Franz recently? Do you mean this? It just arrived. I didn't get the chance to open it yet. Excellent! Thanks to our friend here, we have a chance of getting into the manor now. Although my orders are to protect him, for the sake of our investigation, I will serve as your personal guard for a time. Wait, wait, wait. What are you talking about? All of Lord Franz's invitations bear a single person's name, meaning only that person is invited to attend. Even as a member of the Mithril Consortium, I have no way of bringing a guest with me, especially not an entire group of people. That crafty old man. Unfortunately, we don't have the time to forge invitations for everyone right now. F forge What? Did you think that the heroic order was above using tricks like that? However, like I said, we don't have the time. I was thinking the same thing. Then let us go together. If anything should happen, I could provide some cover. I won't say no to any help you can provide, but don't expect us to pay you back or anything. How could I? I just want to help. Besides, this isn't enough to repay you for what you've done for me. He sure knows how to butter people up. Now that we've decided on a plan, let's start getting ready. Once we're ready, we'll leave immediately. Your command. Don't hurry! Your delivery's coming up! this, right? Well, 
victory is deserved.
praised for this, right? Hey, you all right? You deserve. Well, victory is deserved. for this, right? You're not even worth getting up for. You and potions for sale. Buy four, get one free.
Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Come out, my son, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved. Come out, my son, and fight for me! Silence. Well, victory is deserved. You desire an audience. And what do you... Well, victory is deserved.
Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. I apologize for my tardiness. Is everyone all right? That Gruglin just now looked especially tough. It definitely gave us a challenge. I'm happy to see you again, miss. Did you finish your investigation? Yes. And I wanted to share my findings with everyone as soon as possible. Judging from your expression, things must be even worse than we thought. I wanted to research gemfine grapes to explain the differing flows of magic in the north and south of Ryham. However, I uncovered the secret of the grapes themselves. I'm sure you know, Magister, that these grapes confuse one's mind. They also affect hypophenes. I can personally attest to that. But why? Because gemvine grapes are anything but ordinary. They may look like fruit, but they've been heavily augmented by magic. Every single grape contains powerful hypogean magic, which attacks the mind as soon as it is consumed. If my analysis is correct, then with a little refining, these grapes can be used to control other people's minds. And because they're grapes, they can still be used to make things like juice and tarts, making them even harder to detect. Could all of this have something to do with the Dark Mages? Dark Mages? I've heard of them before. A group of lawless fanatics who study forbidden magic. But Lord Franz doesn't look like he can use magic at all. It's possible that Lord Franz is working with the Dark Mages. We need to hurry. Lord France is most likely going to target the nobles attending his banquet. We'll be in even more trouble if he manages to take control of them.
of all this, right? What is the next quest? Let's keep training to keep growing. I have to protect. Well, victory is deserved. What is the next quest? Scanning the air. 
Well, victory is deserved. Don't hurry! Your delivery's coming up! Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Silence. Well, victory is deserved. Come out, my son, and fight for me! I'll be praised for this, right? Come out, my son, and fight for me! What is the next quest? Silence. Don't hurry! Your delivery's coming up! Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Don't hurry! Your delivery's coming up! Silence. business with you. Here's a discount.
victory is deserved. Victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Come out, my son, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved.
You're not potions for who will present. Understood. I'll keep them quiet. Come out, my servant, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved. Desire and all being Well, victory is deserved.
present. Your command? Understood. I'll keep them quiet. Well, victory is deserved.